Hi, I'm Carla Pierce. There are many sources that say creativity and the art making process makes us smarter. It fires up the brains and gives us lots of energy in many different ways. Today we're at St. Anne's Academy and we're going to be joining an art class and having some fun. So I wanted to start out with something kind of fun today. It's called gestural drawing. And we're just going to draw the human figure. And we have a model for this table. And Janae, we have a model for this table. So I don't necessarily want you to feel pressured to put in this perfect face, or this perfect hand, or this perfect foot. What I'm looking at is just your basic, the basic shape of the body. So I'll show you some of the work. And gestural drawing is beautiful because eventually, when you feel more comfortable with um, capturing sort of the likeness of the body, um, you can fine tune it a little bit more. That's a nice thing too for most people who've never done drawing before like this, is to draw really quickly. You don't have time to think. So remember, we're not looking at faces. We're not putting on all the details in the face today. We're just going to be drawing basic shapes today. Okay, do you guys want to give it a try? Um, as an art teacher, I want to make sure that my students have as many options as possible. So when I give them the criteria for an assignment or a project, I want to make sure that they have a lot of options, that they can explore their own passion, but also work through um, and create a solution for their artwork. So I give them sort of a design problem and they have to figure out how to solve that problem in the most creative way that they want. There are many studies that prove that creativity increases intelligence through exercising different parts of the brain. Sometimes art class can improve students' performance in other core subjects. Um, I think it does help me in some different classes. It gives me a little more creative and broad spe spectrum in what I'm doing. Um, it definitely helps for artistic projects that I have to do in other classes and it helps me to plan things out more. Um, I think it just adds like a new view to the different classes, like nothing you've ever seen before, like adding a new lens to things. Like for math, I like, like art involves every single sub subject you could think of, like with math, like with surface area or um, like measuring and stuff I and mean, like socials it affects like the way you think about history and how art has changed throughout even if it's not really involving art. Yeah, per like I think that art definitely affects other subjects for me personally because it just adds like a new perspective to everything and it gives a lot of almost like a new view and it's like you can look at things in a different light almost. I think so because there's always like these random assignments in other classes where I have to draw something and up until like I started art class I would do like maybe a stick person and it wouldn't really look like anything but now it's kind of I can kind of know what I'm doing sometimes. Art class gives you like more ways to be creative and when you have that way of creative thinking you can solve problems in math or science easier.
I think uh, in art, when they're either doing color theory, sometimes we look at um, a crossover into math. Even today, when we were doing sort of figurative drawing, they were looking at ratios and how many heads high somebody is. So there's always a crossover. The nice thing, too, I think, is that they find a sense of um, uh, independence here and one thing that I really want for them in the future is that when they go and work for a company um, they're looking companies are looking for very creative minded people pro creative problem solvers here is where they get it uh, our school in particular is very good cross curricularly um, for problem solving so um, it's just a nice added way of supporting everything else that goes on in the school There are many different aspects and mediums in art class, enough in fact that the kids have the opportunity to like different things. Um, I think I like the different mediums because there are so many different mediums that a person can try and maybe even create themselves that there really is no limit to what, kind of, what we can do with art. Right now, I'd have to say sketching and pencil drawing, but I am experimenting with digital art right now, so that's pretty fun. I would probably have to say just like the freedom of kind of doing whatever you want. Like sure, there's assignments, but still you get to decide what you want to do, how you want to do it, the way you want to do it. There's like no limit to it because it's, it's your imagination. It's what you want to do. Um, that's a tough one. I'd have to say my favorite thing about art class would be like the way I can just express any type of creativity that I want. Like she always comes, whenever we come into her class, she always gives us like a new project to do. And I can always, you know, she'll give us like a small set of guidelines and we can always like go our own path and everyone goes a different path. And I think it's really cool to see the final project. Um, I like it because like the whole day of school is like oh like doing like math and science and stuff and then I get to art and I just kind of relax and just do whatever and let my feelings out I guess. My favorite thing about art class is getting to be creative in any way that you want and just putting your ideas onto paper or any other type of medium. Different art mediums create different results. Um, I think it's just the kind of different effects you can do um, especially with illustration on digital art as well as you can create a kind of like um, a paint medium, but it's also very forgiving in that sense, so lines can be more precise. Um, I like using paint a lot, because it's messy and it's fun. I just like using a paintbrush, like personally I don't enjoy a pencil overly just because it's scratchy, but I like the way that paint flows on the paper. My favorite medium is printmaking, whether it be intaglio or screen printing. I just love how um, you can take something and make it your own. I would have to say my favorite is um, like drawing, um, like like sketching, black and white. Just just scenery, really. Um, I've done a few like hillsides or trees or something. I think I like painting just because it feels smooth and kind of chill. I like it a lot. Some students love art so much they decide to pursue careers in it and others will continue their creativity as a hobby. Definitely. I'm planning on going to um, a couple of art schools. I've been looking at places in Vancouver and Victoria. It's something that I really would like to bring with me into a career because it's something that's impacted my life so fully. Almost definitely that's what I'm planning on doing. Pro it'd probably have to be another school. I think I would continue it more as a hobby though, because I like, um, I don't think I would 
enjoy the stress of knowing that I have to like create something for a living. I think I would just want it as more of like a personal kind of thing. Just kind of going with the flow, so art's definitely a possibility, but... Um, maybe. Not like going and drawing every day, but like, I'll maybe do like some art just for the heck of it, I guess. I want to be an orthopedic surgeon, so, yeah. I've been looking at a lot of art universities because I want to be a graphic designer and um, just do web design and stuff like that. So. Um, I like working on a computer because everything looks more like put together, I think. Like it mo looks more modern. I think, um, I think a lot of people spend a lot of time on the internet, especially teenagers nowadays, and they get like there's more doors open to the art on the internet. Well, I've been here 10 years, but I've actually been teaching for over 30 years. Yeah. And I wouldn't really know what to do with anything else. It's my passion. I love it. Every day is like a new day, and I'm discovering new things. I discover a lot with the students as well. Even today, we're doing an experiment with one of the pieces of artwork. So um, it, I never get tired of it. And we're always um, trying new things and just reaching out and trying to explore different ways of, of solving problems. Yeah. It's wonderful hanging out with all those young minds full of creativity and promise. The future of our culture lies firmly in the hands of our youth. And the future looks bright. I'm Carla Pierce and thanks for watching.